Hey there, YouTube. Just wanted to talk to you a little bit about exhaust systems for your little Chinese ATV that's probably for your kid, or maybe you've got a couple of them kicking around that you like to play with. Um, <laughs> you know, I've been messing with these little bikes for years, you know, fixing them for people and flipping them and stuff like that. Um, you know, I don't typically ride them myself because they're too small and usually they're way too, you're way too top heavy and you want to fall off of them. But I have come across over the years several different things, you know, issues with the exhaust. Um, and I just came across one the other day that really sparked me wanting to make this video for you guys. And, um, you know, these little Chinese engines, I mean, they're, you know, they're, they don't have a lot of horsepower to begin with, you know, and a lot of times your kids are riding them. Um, but, you know, as your kids get older or, you know, you want to ride it or you want to use it for a special project, it'd be nice to wake them up a little bit, you know, get a little more horsepower out of them. And there's not much you can do other than, you know, that age-old saying that, you know, there's no replacement for displacement. So, you know, whether or not you're doing exhaust or, you know, air filter intake, you know, all these different things that you can do to try to get more horsepower out of your bike. It doesn't matter if it's a tiny little, you know, 50cc or, you know, a Raptor 700, you know, um, having a bigger engine is always the way to go if you want more horsepower. Um, but on a lot of these little Chinese bikes, you know, even, let's say you've got a 125, you know, other than going up to like a 140 or even all the way up to a 190, which gets expensive, you know, there's not much you can do. Um, but what I have found um, with the exhaust on this was just kind of baffling to me. So uh, anyways, I'm going to get you set up and uh, we'll take a look at a couple things that I found and uh, maybe some stuff that you can do to, to try to, you know, get as much flow out of your exhaust as you possibly can. So, be right back. Okay. So, we've got a couple things for you. Um, we'll save the worst part for last. Um, this is typically, you know, what you're going to find. Um, and again, a lot of these bikes, they come in through California. Um, you know, that's a major shipping port in California. And if they're going to come into California, they've got to be part of California laws. Okay. And this is, it's kind of like the same kind of system on your car. It's an evaporator system. Um, they're trying to scavenge a little bit of the exhaust and actually suck it back into the engine and reuse it. That does two things. Number one is that gas is hot. So it basically, as the exhaust is going past, this is where your header is up, you know, mounted up to the bike. And as it goes through here, it comes out. And this actually usually feeds up to your air box. Um, number one, more horse, the cooler the air, the denser the, the, the cooler the air, the denser it is, the more horsepower you're gonna get out. So when you're adding hot gas to your, you know, to the you know the air that your engine's breathing um it's not good you know um so what you can do is is you can just cut it off but the problem is is that pipe actually goes inside of the exhaust so what you're going to want to do is cut this off actually drill this out um so you can get that little piece of pipe out of there and it'll fall out and then you can just put a little piece of you know you know well a little piece of steel over the top of it to close up the hole um the other thing too is, is this actually has kind of a miniature catalytic converter on it. Um, it's it's not exactly like a cat converter. Um, I don't know if it's going to show up or not. Camera, let me get a flashlight here. See if it shows up. Um, let's see here. It might drown it out too much, but you can kind of see that there is some baffling in there it's extremely restrictive um i can kind of catch a glimpse of it there if i catch the light just right um 
there you can kind of see it's almost kind of honeycomb over there to the right um, there's not much of a solution for that issue other than just cutting this out and uh, you know welding in a piece of pipe to get rid of it um, you know this was just I this was just off a, a bike I don't know just I got a lot of junk lying around um, but there, there's a lot of these bikes that come in through California that have this particular setup on it um, the other thing that I found too um, with this muffler and this is a very common looking muffler that you find on a lot of Chinese bikes um, when I found this lot, which I'm going to show you in the end, which is just the the kicker here, um, you know, it's very restrictive. I mean, this hole is very small. Um, you know, that might be okay for a 50 cc, um, but yeah, it's it's still going to be very restrictive. So I cut this, you know, took this off, cut this cap off of here, and then it brings you into a smaller chamber that's got another pipe the same size of this. And again, I don't know if it's going to show up, but when you look inside of here, this is where the exhaust, you know, pipe was coming in. There's another pipe like this, another chamber, about right here. So what they do is, is they're bringing a small amount of gas in here, opening it up into a chamber, and then kicking it out again into a smaller chamber, out another pipe, and then out the end. Again, you know very restrictive I mean most you know most modern ex you know exhaust on a car will do the same thing it'll come in and then it'll it'll actually kind of take a turn and go through a big chamber and then go back out well and that's fine but usually your car exhaust you know there's not a lot of restriction in there you know you usually got two inch two and a half inch you know or you know if you've got a custom exhaust or it could be even as big as three or three and a half inch but you know when you're doing that with this small pipe you know it's restrictive um, this is not necessarily horrible I mean it's not great but it's not horrible the real problem and we'll show you here in just a second <laughs> which again this was already broken and and this and that and so I just kind of broke it off um, it was already all hanging off of there and I just kind of broke it off because I was trying to get it out of the way when I was making this exhaust and this is the, this is the pipe that that fit in here somehow or was it something like that and what I found on the end was baffling to me okay um, I mean from this far away I mean you can probably see what the problem is uh yeah uh, but we'll get you in closer here all right comes in there uh yeah they basically kind of see through there they just basically punch six holes in the top of this flat thing there's no other holes in the side of it um that is about as, you know, and those holes are about as big as the tip of a pen, you know, um, you know, not the very tip, but like the shaft of the pen, you know, the, the, the very writing part. It's, they're not very big. Um, a very small nail could fit through there, like those little tack nails that you use to hang pictures with or whatever. Um, so that, uh, yeah, that honestly is very restrictive. Um, if you had this muffler, um, I would highly recommend to, you know, to cut this out and to just, all you have to do is cut this end off and re-weld it back on there and you'd be good to go. This particular exhaust um, did not have, did not have this setup on it with the cat. And the evap thing um so you know if you have the straight pipe all the way through this is your biggest problem right here your biggest biggest problem 
get that out of there, re-weld it up. Um, you know, it depends on what your budget is. I mean, you know, if, if you're budget friendly, like I am, I like to refer to that, not cheap. Um, you know, this is the easiest way to go. I mean, you know, you yeah, obviously you'd have to have a welder, but um, you know, just to cut it out of here, cut this off, re-weld it. You know, you might need to put a little piece of plate on here to you know to finish it up. But if you're a good gap welder like I am, you know, um, you know, you can you know fix this back up and you know I'll leave all this alone. This is okay. You know, this could be honestly, you know, could be better, but. It could be a lot worse. This is horrible. Um, and of course, they're doing it for all kinds of missions, controls, and you know stuff like that to get these things to pass. Um, it's not going to make your bike really any much louder. Um, it's just going to breathe better. Um, you know, you might when you do that, you're probably going to have to rejet the carburetor a little bit. Um, your idle jet, you'll probably be okay. You can just make some adjustments to that. But your main jet, once you get rid of this restriction you're going to need a bigger main jet because um, that's just horrible so anyway guys and gals the, that's about it I just when I saw that I was just like oh my gosh um, that's just horrible so uh, and this came this particular exhaust came off of a uh, 110 or a 107 and um, you know I honestly I didn't really run the engine before with that exhaust on it. Um, it's actually running a straight exhaust on it right now, um, which I'm probably gonna do a little bit of a, you know, maybe put a, a little bit of a muffler. But if you've got the money, hack this thing, you know, hack your exhaust off, go out and buy yourself, a, you know, a much freer flowing, you know, they're all over eBay and Amazon for, Anywhere from 20, 30 bucks, 60, up to 60, 70, 80 dollars. Um, they're going to be much, 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 much better. Um, you know, and you're still going to, you're going to get a cooler sound out of it. You're going to get more flow. They actually look better. Um, you know, so give that a shot. Like I said, when I saw that, I just had to, had to say something. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure how much, you know, difference between the two engines. I mean, it's not that noticeable. It's 107 cc's. But when you're sticking 250 pounds like me on it, uh, you know, it, it makes a big difference. Even if it's a tenth of a percent better, you know, that's light years better, you know. Um, you know, and it might give you a couple extra, you know, miles per hour on your top end. You know, maybe a little bit better power out of the hole. Who knows? But uh, that definitely is no good. So... Anyway, guys, uh, until next time, uh, you know, stay safe, go out there and have some fun, and, uh, you know, try to live every day like it's your last. Have a good one, guys. Thanks.